Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about AVAX. AVAX seems to be unstoppable, but um, yeah, that was also in line with our um, scenario that one more high would be a reasonable expectation. Actually, the primary scenario that we get one more high here in this larger A wave. Um, in this video, we want to talk about where could that A wave land that started down here in October. Basically, it's a five wave move to the upside. So where could it land? That's what we want to talk about. What's the bigger picture perspective? And also, what is the level that really needs to hold for the price to keep going in the current wave pattern? We always need to understand, um, I mean, now that the primary scenario has been fulfilled, giving us basically five solid waves to the upside there in wave A, what is the level that now needs to break for us to say that this rally is over, the initial rally? But I don't see any signal it's over yet and I would expect it to go a little higher still. So further upside is still anticipated. I will not call a top in place until support levels break. Therefore, um, we were also still watching for another high from this region here in November. Yeah. Um, so quick look at the bigger picture. That's basically unchanged to previous updates. I currently see this as a corrective rally. Um, we're only just now about to reach the larger resistance area that is relevant for this scenario. Um, this move up is considered an ABC structure. And in this C wave, yeah, we are completing currently the larger A, or no, within the larger A wave, we're currently completing this C wave. So ABC completes a larger A wave, then there should at some point be a B wave pullback and then a C wave rally, okay? So that's sort of what I'm watching for. That B wave pullback can be shallow, no way of knowing that. Yeah, just to mention that in advance, we had an ABC rally here as well, that was in 2021. The B wave was extremely shallow. So that's just a message to everybody who's waiting for deep pullbacks because those pullbacks can be shallow, okay? Especially when we deal with a, with a, um, with a B wave. Anybody who's asking what could be a proper entry point, well, we just had one, okay? So that's the support area I communicated. Now again, I can never tell you it's an entry point that depends on your strategy. If you're a pullback trader, you might very well use those parameters to um, to find an entry, okay? I can really only share with you from an analysis point of view where it seems likely that in the current wave pattern, the price is turning around. So what I share with you is the wave pattern, the structure of the chart, tell you where it's likely going to hold in the current pattern. If those levels break, then we know that something different is going on. There's always going to be an alternative, but that alternative didn't need to be used. So let's um, continue to focus on higher then. So the idea, if I go now to the four hour chart, the idea was, and again, it was a very ugly and still is a very ugly structure here. But um, the idea was that we completed a wave one, a wave two, that was here end of October, a wave three, a wave four, and we're basically now in that fifth wave. Um, that fifth wave consisted of an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave. Actually, A, B, C. This C wave could now be in the making and should be an impulse, and that's what we see right now. So let's take a look at this C wave. Maybe before we get there, um, we've got here the relevant resistances, yeah? or also targets, you could say. So the area between 29 and $40 is normally relevant for an A wave. So that's sort of broadly what we would target now yeah, with the data we've got, what we can see right now. At the same time, I don't want to call a top in place until we have a first break of micro support. That is just um, a recipe for disaster in cryptos, you know, because these rallies, you don't want to get in the way of these rallies. You want to just follow the trend until the end um, we want to understand, okay, what are the minimum targets? What are the ideal targets? And what sort of the, there is no maximum, okay? And sort of what's the level that needs to hold for it to keep pushing higher? Um, at the moment, it seems that, um, yeah, we are basically in the middle of that um, fifth wave there, okay? And um, we have a wave one, two setup already complete. Likely now in the third wave, that could still stretch a little higher. Again, you can see only three waves in wave three at the moment. So that can still push higher. It's pretty much in line with, with Bitcoin. The next key level that I indicated to you in previous videos was the $29 to $30 mark. Um, it seems like we're going to break it because um, if this is another small one-two setup in wave three, 
then it still has another four to five to go in wave three, then another four or five. So there's a lot of room still to, to move higher. Um, the invalidation point, okay, for this particular pattern is the wave two low. So if the price now breaks below $19.50, it would indicate that a top has formed of some sort. Okay, what that is, we have to see then. But at the moment, I would assume we are already in this move up, in this fifth wave that was expected. And um, I just gave you the invalidation point, which means that it's the level to watch for. Now, you can watch in the very, 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 very short term, the micro support level. Um, and that is at $23.58. So $23.58 is the level that ideally now this fourth wave doesn't break below. This is moving support. It will move with the price. So as the price climbs higher, also this support level would need to move up. Um, it's just the 50% the retracement of this distance here. And as soon as that breaks in a third wave rally, it indicates that, okay, this might break. Okay, it's only an indication. It's not like solid confirmation or anything, but it's the first indication. And then we're watching for the invalidation point next. And below that level then that I just indicated to you, $19.50, it will become increasingly likely that this B wave pullback has started. And that B wave can take various shape and shapes and sizes and forms. It could turn into a triangle pattern. Yeah, The B wave can turn into a WXY, ABC structure, whatever. But it seems like we are now um, in a very solid um, impulse. Basically, the C wave of that wave five is an impulse, and we're heading towards that key target zone for that larger A wave between twenty nine dollars and forty dollars. Um, again, if it if it keeps pushing and pushing and pushing, then at some point we may have to assume the wave B already happened here. So it was indeed an extremely shallow B wave, and that we are moving up more directly in wave C already. But there's currently just no evidence for that. And therefore, I often say until micro support levels break, we cannot confirm that a top is in place. That's my update about AVEX. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. You can find the links for those in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.